Hey everyone, it's Brian Kukay, and today we're going to have a look at the latest upgrade I made for my YouTube channel, that being the Shure MV7 microphone. In this video I'm going to have an overview of the mic, including its features, what it sounds like and what you get in the box, plus a comparison to the previous microphone I've been using, the HyperX Quadcast. The MV7 is a perfect all-around mic that can fit your needs in any situation, either that being podcasting, gaming, live streaming or other, and can be used via both USB and XLR output. But let's get this opened up to see what we get in the box. First thing we see of course is the mic that we're going to wrap in a minute. Then we have a quick start guide that explains how to set up the mic and how to use it. We have a printed piece of cardboard with a reminder to download the app that controls the MV7. Then we got a small adapter, a 3 meter long USB Type-C cable and a 3 meter long USB Type-A cable. And that's basically it. Now we can finally have a look at the Shure MV7 in all its glory. I must say that it looks very nice. I really like the design, it's minimal and clean and it definitely feels like the build quality is really good. It's a bit smaller than I expected though. To give you an idea, here you can see a size comparison to my previous mic. The MV7 is also made mostly out of metal and has a good weight that altogether makes it feel like a premium product. Here in the back we can have an overview of the different ports that we have. We can find an XLR to be able to connect it to an audio interface and a USB micro so that you can connect it directly to a computer and a headphone jack to be able to easily monitor the audio when recording. Then here at the top we have the pop filter that helps prevent plosives and a touch bar from where we can control some of its settings, which we're going to see soon. So let's set this up on my boom arm and let's see what the sat features this mic offers. Now that the MV7 is connected via USB to my Mac mini, we can see that the control area is now lit up, so that we can have an easy overview on how much gain we have selected, and adjust it to our preference. We also have the possibility of muting the mic if wanted with just a tap, and we can also easily switch between the mic and an headset so that we can adjust its volume. It's pretty basic controls, but it's what most people will need anyways, and it's nice to be able to set them directly from the mic body. But in case you need to adjust things even further, we can do that by using the MV7 app called Shure Motive Plus, and here we can have an overview of which settings are included. First of all, we can choose between Auto Level and Manual Setting Mode. The Auto Level Mode is really good if you don't have much knowledge about audio, as it sort of gives you some general options to choose from, and then automatically adjust everything else accordingly. For example, you can set if you're gonna be close to the mic or a bit further away and the app will automatically set the gain based on which one you choose. And just below it you can also tweak the sound of your voice by selecting one of the three tones available. Moving on to the manual mode we are instead able to set each parameter to our preference. As you can see you can adjust the gain to a specific decibel, the monitor mix to what best fits your needs, you have different IQ settings that you can select, and you can also switch on the limiter to prevent clipping, and turn on the compressor to even out the sounds of your voice. The app also gives you a possibility to save many presets, so that if you want to have different settings saved for later, you can. Now, to actually give you a feeling of how good the MB7 sounds, I will do a quick comparison to the previous mic I've been using in all of my videos here on YouTube. Hey everyone, it's Brian Kukay and I'm fresh here on YouTube. I make weekly videos about tech, gaming and lifestyle, and I also happen to make some content on Instagram if you'd like to follow me. Hey everyone, it's Brian Kukay and I'm fresh here on YouTube. I make weekly videos about tech, gaming and lifestyle, and I also happen to make some content on Instagram if you'd like to follow me. So what do you guys think of the different sounds? Is the MV7 much better or does the Quadcast come close to it? Let me know in the comments. They do definitely differ in price though, as the MV7 comes at a retail price of $250, while the HyperX Quadcast comes in around $100. But with the MV7 you will get a professional microphone that delivers very good results, and it's an easy entry into the world of XLR microphones, and with the possibility of connecting it as well via USB, 
doesn't force you to instantly invest money into fancy equipment like an audio interface for instance. Now, not being cheap, I still think the MV7 is good value for money and I personally recommend it if you're looking to upgrade your audio without breaking the bank. If you happen to have a lower budget though, there are many good mics out there that can deliver clear and good audio and are more than good enough for most situations. Like for example, the Blue Yeti is one option that you should definitely check out. And I just wanna add that ultimately, the thing that matters most is the quality of your content. Either that being podcasting, making videos on YouTube or anything else. And not necessarily the quality of the gear you're going to use. As a perfect example, this video was actually shot on an iPhone and not a fancy camera. Anyways, for today it's a wrap and I invite you to leave a like and subscribe if this video has been helpful to you. And if you did enjoy this one, you might also enjoy one of those. As usual, thanks for watching. Peace, Kukai out.